Hello folks, how are you? We are happy to see you here and we are happy to be here. We are in a little hurry to start, as you see, because of some technical problems and we have too few time and we can talk about monitoring forever. But here we are. And yeah. My name is Maria Totova and I live and work in Pogi, Bulgaria. I work uh, as a Drupal developer at Drew Interactive. It's a leading marketing agency in Germany. I'm also a board member of Drupal Bulgaria, that's our local association. And uh, during my free time, I volunteer as a mentor, a community leader, instructor at Coding Girls. I'm also founder of Drupal, co-founder of Drupal Girls. You probably have heard about them. Uh, you can find some stickers on the chairs there if you want to. Hello, my name is Todor Nikolov, and I'm from Kplovdiv, Bulgaria. I've been working with Drupal for two years now. I'm a university student, and uh, I work at Tech Family Ventures. And I'm also a mentor at Coding Girls. So, let's start. The first question is, what does mentoring mean? Well, we all know that Mentoring is typically defined as a professional relationship to which a more experienced developer or specialist provides some help or assistance to another person in developing better skills and knowledge. But is it all? Actually, it's not. And there are a lot more aspects to mentoring than only training. And of course, the, more, the, more, the main focus is gaining new experience, uh, broadening your expertise. In general, people are quite capable of learning on their own, right? But no one can replace the presence of a mentor, of a person who can give an advice at the right moment, who can encourage you when you feel blue, who can motivate you to keep fighting and guide you when you get lost. Or sometimes even knowing that there is someone out there who believes in you can be all the support needed. The mentor-mentee relationship is indeed a special bond. It's a two ways in terms that a um, it, it requires um, communication and developing skills and um, everyone involved shares ideas and experience. Um, the mentors also widen their field ex of expertise. It's not only about mentees, right? We know that the best way to learn is to teach. The, the relationship should be open and open and honest in all ways. I have had three mentors in my life, and they are my friends forever. I owe them a lot, so it's always good to have a mentor. And in fact, mentors do have mentors. Everybody needs to recognize that. We can all learn and benefit from each other. This is the most natural thing and can change our life. For real. So, I believe we already are getting there, but why is mentoring so important? Mentoring is important because it's an activity which has multiple benefits for everyone. Let's check them out. The mentee should be the primary focus of this relationship. Having a mentor can help you understand everything faster. It gives you the benefit of having someone you can rely on when you need help. Mentors can also help motivate you by supporting you in solving harder problems, or provide you with a different perspective you haven't thought about. You always have someone you can count on that makes learning easier. Being a mentor yourself has benefits as well. By teaching and supporting someone, you also enhance your own skills and knowledge. It's a good way to learn new stuff or practice the basics. You also get to see a different perspective, to see how a beginner would tackle a problem, and you might learn something new from that. Mentoring helps you improve your communication and leadership skills, because you need both of them in order to be able to properly help your mentee. You are doing something good and beneficial for others, and are giving back to the community by increasing its numbers. If your employees are mentors, your business can benefit as well. 
If colleagues are mentoring each other, this can raise the overall performance and productivity. Everyone uh, shares their knowledge and experience. If your company mentors students or interns, this can increase brand recognition. People notice the company more often. You raise the reputation, and it's an easy way to attract potential future employees of the company. There is something in for the community as well. Mentoring helps increase the number of people interested in joining the community. In our case with Drupal, mentoring adds potential contributors and promotes Drupal as a technology. If you're fortunate enough to have a great mentor, you're more likely to become successful at an early age. For example, Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg. This is the case with them. Mentoring builds new perspectives and widens the horizons of both the mentor and the mentee. But how to be a good mentor? This is a great question indeed. The very first thing you need to do is to actually step out of your comfort zone and try being a mentor. Don't underestimate your skills and don't be shy to try. There exists a big problem uh, with mentors and um, a lot of people, especially women, have never had a mentor in their professional life. It's a total waste of talent, I'm sure you all agree. And after all, the most difficult thing is to start right, so just step in and try on your own. We all know about the imposter syndrome, right? That nasty feeling that makes us question our skills, our knowledge, and can make us stay in the corner, stay behind the stage, never try to make anything. But in fact, all of you can, um, all of you know a lot um, and enough to spread or to share with the rest. So you just need, to, we all just need to accept that life is just too short to learn it all, and whatever you know, you can share it. No one knows everything, but nobody expects you to know everything. And um, you and your mentee can work together in an honest way. Breaking the stereotype is something very important. You don't need to have the traditional image of a teacher or an instructor. In fact, the mentor-mentee relationship can be quite personal as well. It should be on only honest, and you, as a mentor, have to discover the needs of your mentee. Um, you need to have an individual approach, which means that if you are, have um, several mentees at the same time, you should consider their interests, their um, field of expertise, what they can improve, where they have to work more, and so on. And you can need to fo you, you should focus on this. Also, you should respect things like um, uh, racial, political, gender differences, things like that, and you should respect them, of course. In, in general, you should show your good side. You should be open and honest. You should build a relationship with your mentee that's, that is based on trust and to learn to respond to his or her needs. But sometimes you also need to show your bad side because you don't have to do everything um, instead of your mentee. On the contrary, you need to work away, to step away and let them work independently in order to provide the best out of them. You should show them that different options exist and they are the ones who have to choose the right one or just to make a decision. You need to require more and um, in this way you get the most out of your mentees, of course. And not forget that sometimes we have to give some constructive feedback. Sometimes uh, we need to keep the mentee on the ground. And in this process, as we already said, we all improve ourselves. We should spend some time as well to prepare for um, our um, mutual work with our mentee. There are topics that we need to cover, um, there are some materials that you can provide to them so to make this process easier. But in fact, uh, you should also allow yourself to learn from your mentee. We do this all the time and we learn a lot even from our students, high school, university students, it doesn't matter. Everyone knows something that the other doesn't and that's the beauty behind mentoring. 
Okay, we are already getting there, but how do we do it? So, after telling you about why you should consider mentoring and how to improve it, we would like to share with you how we are actually doing mentoring, so you can get an idea on how to do it yourself. There are many ways to start mentoring and helping people. One of them is organizing different events like meetups, workshops, courses, and camps. We, as part of Coding Girls and our local group of community, have organized many events. One of the things we do is to provide access to all of them for free. That way more people will be able to come and learn something new. Now, in this picture you can see me as a mentee on a Coding Girls event which Maria organized as uh, it was for Drupal. And several months later, you can see me as the mentor of my own course. Now, there are some more pictures of courses, workshops, and events we have organized. Now, this next one is from a HTML and CSS course, and it's right after the students graduated. We also included providing certificates to our mentees so they can feel appreciation from their work. This is uh, an event where Coding Girls participated. It was at the International Girls in ICT Day. And that picture is from a local Drupal camp at Plovdiv, which we organized. <coughs> Another thing we do is to take university students as interns. It's a good way for them to learn about Drupal and a good way for us to find potential new colleagues. And this is a picture from one of, the, one of our student groups at Plovdiv. Mentoring doesn't always need to be between a beginner and an expert. Two people with similar level can also exchange knowledge. No matter what, you can always learn something new from everyone. So we have mentoring at the office as well. Let's summarize all we have discussed today. Yes, in short, good and productive mentoring relationship with the right person provides huge benefits for both sides. I'm sure you all agree on that. Mentors and mentees improve their knowledge, their performance. Um, they, they do this much better, that much faster than they would otherwise do so. Not to mention how much fun it is for both sides. It is definitely a time well spent for both parties. How do we know that? The answer is simple, by stepping up and being mentors. One of the best quotes out there belongs to John Crosby and it says, Mentoring is a brain to pick, an ear to listen, and a push in the right direction. And I think we can both agree on that. Thank you, and don't forget to show your appreciation towards your mentors. And of course, Try it on your own. Spread some triple love and magic around. One of the best ways to start is to step out of your comfort zone and try it on your own. Join the Community Contribution Day and find a mentor or become one yourself. We will appreciate your feedback and now is your time for your questions. We love discussion, so please. Anyone? There's an opportunity for a couple of minutes to... Okay, I can start questions. asking questions. No. What have you done to introduce so many uh, women to your, um, uh, to your courses? Yeah, we organize um, events that are especially organized and announced as events for ladies. And uh, yeah, uh, some women do need this. They have a little push or to feel a little support, but it works. Uh, in Bogif, we have like 15-20 um, people at each event that we organize. We have also workshops. We present uh, technologies like we start with front-end development because it's easier for them to start. But, yeah. And what was your concrete approach? Have you put uh, flyers to your uh, university in, at Bulgaria? 
Yeah, uh, we mainly use Facebook to advertise our events uh, with Coding Girls Initiative, but also we work at the university where um, uh, we teach students uh, during their internship programs and that they come also to our company. This is also a good way to approach more women because in Bulgaria there are a lot of girls who study science, science in general. And uh, yeah, Bulgaria is on the top of the list of uh, countries with uh, women working in the IT field. So uh, actually there is interest. They just need some support. Can I add as well? So, yeah. so like um, everywhere we, we visit or speak somewhere or we introduce our company somewhere, we also introduce coding groups as well. So uh, this is a way to promote it. And uh, one thing we strive to do is to make sure that everyone is welcome. So, so they feel welcomed. Uh, and uh, where is the best place to find a mentee if I would, would want to be a mentor, for example? Uh, for example, I never had some such experience, but if I feel that I can mend some somebody. Okay. One of the best uh, best ways is uh, actually opportunities like this one here. You can meet a lot of Drupal people. There are um, guys and girls who have never um, tried Drupal before. Even may they may not may not be um, technical technical person, uh, but yeah, just meet people, ask them uh, if you wish. Uh, we can we are always looking for mentors, yes, and we can talk about this later. Okay. But uh, if you ask, I'm sure there will be a lot of people who are ready to do this and to find a mentor. Thank you. I could add to this as well. Now, also, uh, universities or uh, students like in schools are a really good approach as well, because uh, people there always need need someone to mentor them. So, if you are part of a, of a company, you can you can always ask to take uh, students as mentees. Thanks. Other questions? Other questions? Yeah. yeah. Percentage of the students successfully find a job. Could, could you please repeat? The question? Uh, I, I need you to repeat it, please. So, uh, and I'll repeat. The question is what uh, percentage of the students successfully start a jobs at, as Drupal developers? And uh, we actually don't have exact numbers on that. And uh, I'm, I think so far only few of them have started. So interested big, but uh, in our case, we're from Bulgaria, and in our specific case, there wasn't really an opening really from them, so they weren't happy with that. Okay. Yes, this is actually one of the problems. So everybody speaks how the Drupal community needs more young power, right? And students and people working, uh, so that not only the same faces come to the events again and again, but actually, the interest there is a big interest uh, towards Drupal, and I have no problem to motivate my students and make them uh, start working with Drupal. However, we have a um, problem with the business, with the companies, because most companies are looking for, guess what, senior developers. But somebody needs um, to build these um, senior developers. So uh, here we should work more closely with the business, and uh, we need some support so that Mm, those young specialists that just have graduated can start working and gain more practice. But in general, this is it. If that's all, we will finish now and let our colleague to join you and present his session. And if you have more questions or want to speak with us, we are here the next day, so just reach out to us. Thanks. Thank you. Okay.